All parties be advised. This is Jaeger. I have control. I have control. Firing on the key of two. Five. Four. Three. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Operation Win Today. My name is Łukasz Maleszyński. I'm a founder and owner of Operation Win Today and Jaeger Lifestyle. Uh, I'm also a former Krav Maga instructor, functional fitness instructor. I served in United States Marine Corps. I was in 1st Battalion, 6th Marine, Scout Sniper Platoon. I was um, 0311 and that's our call sign was Jaeger and that's why we have a Jaeger Lifestyle. I'm here with my co-host, John Mitchell, aka Big John. What's up, John? Yo. How you been? Very good. Okay, Break so down this program. we need to uh, talk about our program that we have, which is Operation Win Today. Where you can find this program, it's on operationwintoday.com. It's 100% free program. You can download and you know follow the 90 days that we have structured planned for you guys, if you would like to. Who this program is for or what it's going to do for you, well, one, it's definitely going to get you in shape. But not just shape, like, I don't care about your six-pack. This is the infantry-style program. Yeah, so this is military. more geared towards your brain. Not, It is geared towards your body, but it's mo- way more geared towards your brain. It is, because there's more tasks, daily tasks that you, you will do every day to develop the good habits, to build strong character, to be disciplined. However, uh, when we talk about battle-ready specifically, those weekly challenges that you're going to execute – are set up with a mindset of being actually better ready. It's not just, you know, like we're going to hit the gym and do abs. It's a better ready program. Yeah, let's start with the tasks, though. So we have five tasks that you have to do every single day for the 90 days. Um, And if you miss one of those tasks throughout any point of any of the days, you're going to have you're going to have to restart with whatever phase you're in. Okay, so each phase is about three or four weeks. And there's yep. three of them, okay? 90 days, that's what it is. Exactly. So in the order of the tasks that you have to, uh, you know, hit every single day, let's go through them. So just to uh, go a little back, this is the same s- structure we have in the boot camp. If you end up failing in boot camp in phase two, you don't get a recycle to day one of day one of boot camp. You get recycled to day one of phase two because that's what you fail. You already succeed in phase one. You pass that. There's no need to go back there. We're going to... S- cycle you to the back of day one of cycle uh, of of the of phase. Your phase that's why it's structuring three different phases that's why it's a military style type of uh program uh it could be for anyone that wants to be more disciplined wants to get in the battle ready shape or specifically if you're trying to go to boot camp police yeah, yeah if you think about going to boot camp you're thinking about going maybe uh being cop uh, SWAT team on SWAT team there's a lot of those SWAT teams guys they have a uh, uh, selection process some type so this will this definitely will help get you, you in have high chances better better ready shape so starting with the very first one it's all mental don't hit snooze wake the fuck up wake the fuck up when alarm goes off get out of the bed not hitting snooze will be your first win of the day that's the key first to av- of five yep and that's the, the the very first key to avoid procrastination. So the first battle everyone is facing is alarm goes off. You have two options. Snooze or get up. Like you said, you're going to get up. No one set up the alarm with the purpose not waking up at the time. I actually know quite a few people that do that. Like what? Just set an alarm to, to hit this. Like they set like 10 alarms. Yeah. So if you one <laughs> of those people, you got to grow the fuck up and stop doing that. Like, uh. I'm I'm ser- there's like if you don't have to be up till 7 a.m. just set your alarm for 7 a.m. Don't start this cycle of 6 a.m. The alarm is gonna go off for like six times or nine times until seven. Fuck you your don't sleep up. You don't have to be up at uh, until seven. Uh, just set up the alarm. Uh, the excuse of well I have to like that's a bullshit. You don't have to have a snooze. <laughs> now I'll recommend you're accustomed to, to it. You're accustomed to it. Yeah, I always recommend setting up two alarms. I I sleep with my watch on. Not everybody likes that, but uh, I sleep with my watch on and I have my phone. So I have two alarms and it saved me quite a bit. Few times where my phone didn't, for example, uh, you know I have one of those portable chargers like wireless mm-hmm. chargers where I put my phone. Yeah. 
you know, it happened a couple times where like I put the phone on thinking it's <laughs> it's, it's it's charging, set. but actually die overnight. Well, guess what? Two is one, one is none. I have two alarms set up, so if one of them fail, the chances of two of them failing are slim. Exactly. So set up two alarms, get the fuck up at the time that you promise to yourself you're going to be up. So that's a very, very simple, not easy, but simple task of get up without hitting snooze. You snooze, you lose. Simple the next concept. one. Next one. Number two, it's cold shower when you wake up. Get uncomfortable. You'll be fine. Take a cold shower immediately when you get up. This will mentally prepare you to attack your day. It wakes you the fuck up. Additionally, to your getting up from not hitting snooze, you probably still a little bit tired. That's normal feeling of you get off the bed. Uh, and now I'm getting under cold shower. This is not meant to have any uh, health benefits as far as the same as ice bed have. This is just cold shower to get uncomfortable because you don't want to do it. So we want to, again, get your mindset into do the uncomfortable things, the little things. Again, yeah. we're talking about something that it's simple, but not easy. It's simple to get on the cold shower and turn the cold water and stay there. And we don't have, uh, we're not telling you you have to be there for five minutes. We just want you to get on the cold shower for well at least 30 seconds, get a cold shower on you. Like, just experience some suck. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to say that. It's not that it, like it doesn't hurt. It just sucks. It just sucks, yeah. Yeah. And so it's not, just do it. I, I don't even know how long I've been doing this, but it never got really easier. It always sucks no. every morning. Like just something about getting wet in the morning and on top of that, it's cold. Yeah. Uh, it's just not the best feeling in the world. I mean, it wakes you the <laughs> fuck up. In my, for me, I'm doing this because I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I know if I start breaking those habits in my mind and accustom myself to things that I don't want to do and I uh, do it and I do it them anyways, it helps me with other things in life mm -hmm. to accomplish the things that I don't want to necessarily do. Because yeah. we all have those right things that we should do that we don't want to do. Especially if you're starting your day like that. Exactly. So this is just to create, again, we, we are all about building good habits to build strong characters so we can be disciplined. That's what this program is about. The, ne the very next one, it's be better ready. So here we have weekly challenges for you guys. Uh, there's a 13 challenges with the last day on the day 90. It's a better ready crucible and you have to execute it in under five hours. So you have 13 challenges. You can, you can execute those challenges any time during the week. So you have time from whatever. If you started on the challenge on Wednesday, then you got any time from Wednesday to Tuesday of next week to execute. You got basically uh, seven days to execute the challenge of the week. Uh, just it, pick a time. Just pick a time. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be every week the same day. It could, it could shift if you have a different schedule. And now, this program is building up from uh, initial strength test on your day one to day 90 when you're executing the crucible, which is max amount of uh, push-ups in two minutes, uh, max amount of plank for time, run two miles. Then you're going to have a nine-mile rock run with the 35-plus uh, water weight. So expect about 40 pound, uh, pounds. Uh, and then you're going to execute the hardest mile uh, workout, which is basically um, 100 burpees, 100 air squats, 100 push-ups, 100 uh, sit-ups, and one mile run again. So, you know, it might seem pretty intense for some people. If they never done this before, they might think like, oh my God, I can't do this. But this program is structured to take you from week to next week, and it builds up and you will be able to execute this if you stick to the program. That also might seem for people that are really fit, because I know people, I have friends, they're like, they can execute this better already without going to the program. Mm -hmm. However, you still might find benefits of the other area that we are attacking, the mindset we are attacking with, getting up without hitting snooze. Uh, yeah, that's why we say it's not geared towards physical fitness. This is yeah. changing who you are. But... With that being said, we also understand that we want to be physically fit. 
Yeah. And even more specifically, we want to be better ready. That's we've been preaching, be better ready. Not just in shape, but be better ready. As an infantryman, I need to be able to put the backpack on and be able to move relatively fast for long periods of time. With my ammo, with my rifle, yes, I'm a civilian, but guess what? I'm still, as an American, have an obligation to be in shape. I mean, speaking to civilians, though, let's say people that can't relate with military, okay. like military mindset, or I mean ideas. Yeah. Um, I mean, think like fucking we lose power, something nutty happens. Survival you know? situation. Yeah. We don't have power or gas or like, you know, plumbing or anything that, like that for the next, like, let's say two months from now, nothing's going to happen. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. What are you going to do? You got, you get, once you don't have gas or anything, you can't drive your car. The city is fucked. Yeah. Like you gotta get out of the city, G- grab what so. you can, and move. <laughs> yeah, you know that's th- that's all you can do. So, this is prepping you for any yeah, we situation. Will, look, there's so many different programs out there for people to get in shape, like through the gym and everything else. We want to have a different spin on this. We wanted to really truly develop a challenge that will be a infantry kind of related, mili- military related, but also I know people. Uh, there are you know in shape they might not be able to do those challenges. Well, not do it. Like They might actually perform be still, them. Really. Yeah, it will be still hard for them because they're not used to do this. Exactly. And guess yeah. what's happening under any survival situation? You're going to have to move. Count that your feet will have to move you. Count that you're going to have to have food and water and whatever. Ammo like depends. Like, I mean, I don't know how well, I mean, dramatic we have to be here on this show, but... Uh, <laughs> even if you don't, like, the, the thing to think about, like, let's say you're in a, the survival situation, you don't have food, you don't have water, you know, like, that's when the mental training comes in. Yeah. Like, the doing it anyway through the suck. And look, here's the bottom thing, guys. It's just badass to fucking do those tasks. If you tell someone, hey, I execute push-ups, Plank for time, that was my result. I ran for two miles, then I put a fucking backpack on and I ran for another nine miles with the weight on. And then I did 100 burpees, 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, 100 air squats, and ran for another five miles. And I did the under five hours. It's fucking badass. So we want to create something for whoever is interested. Either you're going to boot camp, you're going to some type of police academy, you're trying to get maybe on SWAT team, whatever it is. You're a civilian patriot who wants to change their you wants to be more disciplined and fit this program it's free you can try it there's no you know string attached you can uh go and download and 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 see how it builds up and and what are you gonna get out of it one thing with a better ready no music doing challenges we call this suffering silence guess what it's you know in the previous workout uh, i'm sorry in the previous uh podcast we talk about uh motivation Mm-hmm. Okay, get pumped up and cool. Okay, fuck that. When you're on the rock run, when you're on your PT uh, test, you don't have any headphones in, no music, you're suffering silence, you being okay with yourself and your mind. Mm-hmm. You have four or like, well, you got five hours to being just you with your own mindset to think about a lot of shit in your life. I'm telling you, when you're fucking hiking, you're going to have a lot of time to rethink your life. <laughs> like you ever drive without music. It's like the same type of, you know, yeah, almost meditation. So bed already is basically uh, you have once a week, you have a challenge. Now, people will say, okay, what do I do in the other days? Well, that's up to you. I know people that are already on successfully successful uh, structure program. So you can, if, if that works for you, you can continue working with your own program and just do this once a week, right? Uh, if I can make a suggestion, I would say uh, you should be able to do, no, not should be able to, you, you should be doing three strength days, uh, three strength day days. Uh, strength days. Yeah. Uh, you know, lower body, upper body mix, right? Like, mm-hmm. uh, or if you don't have time for three, do two. So still you got to hit your weights. Still you got to get stronger. Uh, throw some running, throw some cardio in the next two days, and one days will uh, one of the day will be the uh, uh, the better ready challenge. So here's your five to six days a week and one day off. And that's just an idea, like you, yeah, like you you can find your own fitness routine or something. But the only thing we're really like making sure you have to check off is those weekly challenges that are once a week. Don't forget that. 
Yep. So also, if you struggle with the program day to day, if you follow Operation Win Today page, we posting our daily workouts, what are we doing on the page? So you can actually go and get a little bit of idea. You, look, you can literally just follow us. You can follow us. Yeah. And, and just so you guys know, I have coaches for me that I hire to write specific program for me. Yeah. Why I'm doing this because I'm not if if I want to work on my strength and conditioning, I want to go to people that are doing that, have that expertise. Yeah, have the expertise specifically. I can tell you how to get expertise to get you to rock run for nine miles. Mm -hmm. Because I did that, yeah. <laughs> and I have expertise in that. So this is that's why uh, I came out with this program, and I build it up, and I look over and over and over, and I did it myself to make sure everything is on track. Also, I talk to different people, active, inactive Marines that I personally know. Some of them I'm excellent uh, uh, fitness instructors in the Marine Corps, scout snipers. And you know, I, I bounce, you know, I bounce this program idea uh, with them and send it to them, asking questions like, "Hey, what do you think?" And you know, whatever the couple tweaks we have to make, we make couple tweaks, and here's the final version where, uh, you know, basically based on my expertise and other people that I confirm with, this is what we got, and it makes sense for the most part. It's respected and reasonable. Exactly. Next one after that, it's stage your gear. So again, that's a military task, something that we do all the time in military. Uh, and you can see this on deployments, very popular, where you stage your gear. So if anything happens, you get called, you run to your, uh, you know, airport, uh, you know. You're always where, ready. You're always ready. You got your gear stage, everything. And when we say stage your gear, like literally all we mean is what you need for the next day, have it ready the night before. That's yeah. it. That's all what staging your gear is. So in my case, I'm packing my gym bag and whatever clothes I need for the next day, right? Mm -hmm. Packing my bag, uh, packing my uh, lunches, not, you know, obviously leaving them in the fridge, but I have already weighed, I already weighed them, everything. They're ready to just grab in the morning and go. So you stage your gear to always be ready. Every tool is prepped. Always, always be ready. You, you wake up and... Uh, really, what are we trying to do right here is to wake up with a fucking purpose. Mm -hmm. You're waking up without hitting snooze. You do the cold shower because it's uncomfortable. Your shit is already staged. Like, you giving yourself no excuses why you shouldn't be somewhere on time at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Like, if you wake up without hitting snooze, you take the cold shower, you're going to wake you the fuck up, you have your shit ready to go, you're going to be where you're supposed to be. Yeah, the only thing you can really fuck up is when you do this. Yeah, like when you wake up, you know. Yep. And then the last one is lock your goals. So writing the three goals will keep you aware of where you at and where you are going. This type of aware awareness is essential to live living a hunter lifestyle. Jäger, in German, it stands for hunter. So that's what we mean by that. So that's what we mean by hunter lifestyle. We... We're using Jaeger lifestyle. You can translate to hunter lifestyle. Uh, again, Jaeger was the call sign of uh, of, uh, of the platoon I was in. One six scout sniper platoon. Mm -hmm. Our call sign was Jaeger. So uh, you know, I love the name. I have a passion. You know, and when I decide to start, is I was looking for 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 something. I was like, man, like Jaeger to me it just sounds fucking badass. It stands yeah. for hunter, but it makes and, sense. And and you know, the the truth that we've been always saying is. Everyone is hunting something. What do you hunt? When we say hunt, hunting, we are hunter lifestyle. We don't necessarily mean uh, going and hunting a deer. That's cool. That's that's also cool. But yeah. like it, it has a little bit de deeper meaning behind it. It's whatever you currently hunting. Everyone is hunting something. There is a new job, uh, better job, uh, better health, uh, being stronger, being faster, better. doesn't matter. Hunting to be better. Hunting to be better, right? So you're going to write your goals, three goals every day. One is going to be for tomorrow. So it's going to be probably something small, right? Unless mm -hmm. you have some big event happening tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be like, hey, I, it could be something as simple. I want to wake up without hitting snooze, mm -hmm. okay? That could be your goal for tomorrow. Uh, goal for the week. So this week, in the next seven days, what is my goal to accomplish? 
is a lose one pound, is a uh, accomplish the task of, of, of for work that I was assigned to, right? Whatever it is, you want to accomplish that during the week. And then you got your 90-day goal, which is going to be the, from the day you start a program, you're going to you're gonna pick specific goal, what you are trying to get out of it in 90 days. So you start on day one, you're going to write the goal, and for 90 days, you are going to repeat every single day this goal. So you're going to keep writing. Like if my It's goal, basically manifestation. Yeah. If, if my goal is to lose 15 pounds in 90 days, every single night I'm going to write down goal three is going to be lose 15 pounds. Yeah. Period. So you're going to keep repeating that one. You have your daily goal, which will change every day. You got your weekly, will change every week, and your 90 day stays with you until you finish the 90 day. So you always know where you're at. You always know where you're going. It's very important to keep a track of your goals and have ideas of where, uh, where you're at. It so, keeps your life on track. Yeah. John, what else uh, do we need to cover with this program? Just to answer some, you know, people have questions. Uh, it could be a little bit overwhelming sometimes when you're looking at this program because, I mean, we I, have a scoring system, which for those who go into military, that scoring system is very important to understand because they're going to use the same scoring system, very similar uh, counting, either it's push up, plank, or run. And this is for the challenges. This is for challenges. So, when it seems like it's something overwhelming, it, it, like you just didn't read it through well. You got to read it through. Yeah. So, to, like, a thing see. I think maybe we can say is like, these are two basic papers that, like, or documents, I guess, that you're going to want for this program. Um, but on OperationWinToday.com, we have a whole extra set of breakdowns if there's any confusion, like like right. how the point system works yep. within the challenges and how if you do a certain um, workout for this amount of time as opposed to this amount of time, what your score would be and also what score like you should be aiming for. Right. You know, So that's all explained on OperationWinToday.com. And if you struggle understanding the scoring system and you go into military, then you need to figure the fuck out really fast <laughs> because that's what you're going to be used. That's why this is perfect for police. It's perfect for police. Uh, you know, that, that, that you're going to be conditioned to to uh, um, to be in boot camp if you, if you go to this program before, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, don't get me wrong. This is not a boot camp, uh, you know... It, you, we can compare this to the boot camp, boot camp like military boot camp. It's but just got structure. It, uh, it wakes you up to structure. It have it gives you purpose. Assign again. Remember what we always say in Operation Win today: good habits build, build strong, strong character. character. Yes. So we want to build those good habits to have strong character. Because guess what? Strong character is a disciplined person. If you have a strong character, you are disciplined. So. Overall, that's the goal with this program. It's to get you more discipline. Uh, you will get in better ready shape. If you're not, if you're in shape right now, but you're not in better ready shape, this will get you in better ready shape. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit has a different twist. Um, you know, I'm loving it just because I understand for me, going just to the shooting range is not it. Like, yeah, how many times you see people that are out of shape going to the shooting range and they did. They, they, Dude, th those are the ones that uh, like run their mouth the loudest about tactics and shit and everything else. Well, guess what? Your tactics is going to be stopped by somebody that is in better shape than you in the gunfight, period. If you cannot move fast, you will lose the gunfight. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, as Americans, we have a huge tradition with to firearms, to shooting, and that's great. But there's a reason why military is still stressing the physical aspect so much, not just shooting. It's pointless owning it's, a race car if you don't know how to race. It's a, every single day. It's like Monday to Friday in, in military, you wake up, you're going to do the PT, you're going to do all this shit for the reason, because it's important. If you're not physically fit, you cannot fight, period. If you believe any, if you believe any other way, then I'm telling you right now, you are wrong. There's going to be a wake-up call. No, like, uh, look, we have this article, right, on Operation, uh, on Jaeger Lifestyle. So if we go to uh, Jaeger Lifestyle, we have an article, Better Ready, 
Mm-hmm. And basically, the article explains of the tactics and maneuvers will be stopped by somebody who can just outlast you. Mm-hmm. So if you have tactics, you have maneuvers, and you shoot guns, and you have all the cool concept of how it's supposed to be, if you're facing somebody who is in better shape and can last longer doing those tactics, endurance. endurance, they will win because mm-hmm. eventually you're not going to be able to accurately shoot because your heart rate's going up. How many people experience... Uh, shooting under stress situation. Well, it's like, tell you what, stress situation, do 20 burpees, pick up the gun and shoot. Yeah. And see, let's see how accurate you are. You, shit's going to move around. Like you got you to gotta be in physically shape. You got to be in good physical shape to be able to perform and be better ready. And exactly. here's what we're focusing on. Being better ready with this program, being disciplined, be a better American. Because being better ready, it's being fucking American. Simple. Yes. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Yeager out.